Hey, RC here. Wanted to talk a little bit about how to be able to set up cool roller estates using the animations palette in Photoshop. Now, here I have a graphic, and this graphic, I'm just going to zoom out here a little bit. It's just a regular header, and we wind up having a series of slices that we've drawn out here. Now, if you don't know how to be able to draw the slices out, I'm just going to go ahead and just delete all of these to show you what it looks like. So we have a couple of text layers, a couple of just solid lines that we're using. And I'm going to navigate over here to the slice tool. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this out. So I'm going to make a section here that I wind up dragging out. And I wind up dragging past the edge here so that it winds up going to the very edge. Once I wind up doing that, I'm going to come over here right next to where this handle is and I'll drag this out. I'll make one section there. I'll go ahead and I'll drag this section out then this one. And I'll continue to do this for all of the other sections. Now, once I wind up getting all of these done, what I could do is I can go ahead and label all of these. So in order for me to label them, I'm just going to switch back over here to the slice select tool and I'll just double click on each of these. So that's the name of the graphic that's going to be once it's sliced. I'm just going to go ahead and highlight that and just call that header. I'll go ahead and double click on this one and call this left button. And then this section here is going to be called BTN about. Do the same thing for galleries. I'll go ahead and just BTN galleries. Workshops, I'll go ahead and type in BTN workshops. Do the same thing here, BTN blog, BTN contact and I'll call this BTN right. So now I have all of these labeled out and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get export these into a folder here that I have called test. Actually let's change the name of this. We'll call it site. So now that I have that all set I'm going to go ahead and go to file, save for web and devices and I can change the different settings for each of these individual slices by just using my slice select tool and just clicking on any of these areas. And if I want to change it, so like instead of this being a JPEG, I want it to be a GIF, I can go ahead and click on the preset here and find whatever setting I want and compare whether or not this is going to be what I want from a size or a quality standpoint. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to leave them like this and I'm going to click on save. I'll go ahead and I'll save this at the site and I'll leave it as splash.html and I'll click on save. That automatically exports and cuts all of that stuff out and puts it into this page. And if I were to start this in Safari, notice there's the page. Now, that's all well and good. I'm going to go ahead and go into Dreamweaver and I'm just going to define that as the site. So I'm going to go to Manage. I'm going to click on New Site. And under the Advanced tab, I'll call this Test Site. And the local root folder is going to be that site folder that I have there. I can go ahead and click OK. Click on Done. And there's my site with my splash page. I'll go ahead and I'll change this to index.htm. Now if I double click on this, there's a page. And let's say that I just go ahead and change this. So I call this Tutorial Test. And I'm going to modify the page properties. And I'll go ahead and I'll change the background color to black and click OK. Now, all of these are going to be graphics. But what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to be able to replace them with animated GIFs that I'm going to do inside of Photoshop. I'm just going to save and close this file. And I'm going to come back to Photoshop. And now we'll talk about how to be able to set those guys up. Now, I'm going to be working with these and I'm going to need my animation palette. So I'm going to click on Window and I'm going to go to Animation. And now inside of Animation, it'll bring up all of the different layers and all of the folders that you have created here in the Layers palette. I want to expand or twirl down the text layer where I have all of these. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this section here, this playhead, and I'm going to move it all the way to the beginning. And notice that you can animate position, opacity, style, or text wrap. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hand and fade this out. And then I'm going to fade it in in a different color. 
So first thing that I want to do is I'm going to go over here to opacity and under the opacity, I'm going to go ahead and click on this little time swatch. Now I have a mark there that remembers what this looks like at this specific opacity. Now I can go ahead and drag my playhead just slightly over. And notice that right now it's at 30 frames per second. I can go ahead and just change that by clicking on this fly out here and going under document settings. And that's where you can change the frame rate. I kind of want the frame rate at 30. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. Now I'm over here in this one section. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop the opacity to zero. That'll fade everything out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this slightly over here. Now notice as soon as I faded that out, it went ahead and put a marker there. So now I want to bring it over to this section and I'll fade this opacity back in. So it brings it back in, but now I'm going to go ahead and add a style change. So I'm going to double click on this layer here and under the style, what I'm going to add is a color overlay. And the color overlay is going to have a specific color of, let's say, like an orange. And I'm going to click OK. Now, once I wind up doing that, it keeps that information. I'm going to go ahead and just click on this here, and it'll change it. It'll add this marker here. So now, what I'll do is I'll come back to the beginning, and I'm going to turn off the color overlay. So now it's white. So now it starts off white, it fades out, and comes back in this orange. Now, I don't want it to go all the way across, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab this work area, and I'm going to bring it all the way over to where this end is. Now, if I hit the Enter key, or the space bar, it shows me what this looks like. I'll go ahead and stop it, and I'll move this back to the beginning. Now what we can do is we can click on File, Save for Web and Devices. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to wind up saving these graphics. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to use the space bar to move my Move tool. And I'm going to let it go. I'm going to hold on the Shift key and single click on all of these guys here. I'll let go of the Shift. I'll hit the space bar for the Move tool. And now I'll Shift click the last one. These are the guys that I want. And I'm going to set the preset to, let's say, something like 128 GIF, no dither. So it's this section that I want here. So, oops, looks like I just wound up messing that up. I'll go ahead and shift click these guys again, space bar. So those are at GIF 128, no dither. I'm going to leave them selected and I'm going to click on save. Under the save, this time, what I want to do is I want just the images and under the settings, I'm going to go ahead and I want this, let's say, click on next here. The section that I'm looking for is a section that's going to wind up saying, all right, well, I want to save this in the images folder. I don't want to create another images folder, so I'm going to leave that unchecked. I set up a preset here called no image subfolder, but you can pretty much do this by just going into the custom settings and unchecking this, because what I'm going to do is inside of the site section, I'm going to type in a new folder. And I'm going to call that over. And I'm going to put the graphics in there by just clicking on save. So that takes those graphics. And now if you want to come over here to the site, you have an over tab. And inside of there, you have all of the graphics with overstates. So now let's go ahead and close this. I'll go ahead and I'll minimize this file. And I'm going to go into Dreamweaver. Inside of Dreamweaver, I'll go ahead and I'll open this file. And notice already you have the over tab here. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll create swap images for the rollovers for these. So I'm going to highlight this file. Once I have that highlighted, I'm going to go to Window. And under Window, I'll go ahead and I'll select Behaviors. And under the Behavior, I'll add a behavior. And the behavior that I'm going to add is going to be a swap image behavior. I'll select swap image. That's the one that I want to be able to do. I'm going to click on browse. And the source of this one, I'm going to go to the over tab and I'm going to highlight about and click on choose. I'll click OK when I'm done. 
and I'll proceed to do this for all of the other ones. So gallery, I'm going to add the swap image. I'm going to browse and what did I say this was? I said this was galleries. So I'll go ahead and I'll click on galleries and I'll click OK. I'll go to workshops, swap that image, browse, go to workshops. I'll go to blog, swap image, double click on blog. And the last one is going to be contact. Now, as soon as you wind up setting this up, notice what happens is it winds up setting up an on mouse over event for the swap image and on mouse out, it brings you back to the original image. So now that I have that set, I'm going to click on file save and I'll preview this in Safari. That's going to go ahead and open up a Safari page. And now notice that that's normal. And if you put your cursor over it, it winds up adding that. Now, notice that inside of here, what it's doing is it's looping the animation. What if I didn't want that animation to loop? What I could do is I can wind up going back into Photoshop and want to go into Safer Web and Devices. The option to be able to do that, notice I'm going to highlight these guys here again. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll hold the space bar down and shift click these guys again. Once I set this up as GIF 128 no dither, here's the looping option where it says to loop forever. What I could do is I just set this for once. And now I'll go ahead and I'll save that. I'll leave it back in the over directory. I'm going to go ahead and replace those. Now, if I go back into Dreamweaver and I click on Preview in Safari, I'm just going to refresh this just to be on the safe side. Now, they fade out, fade back in, and stop.